Hello everybody and welcome back to this second episode of building the Space Invaders game using HTML, JavaScript and CSS. In the last episode, we created the moving background and we also added the spaceship to our screen and made it move. Now you'll see that the spaceship can actually move off of our screen. So the first thing that we're going to do in this episode is we're going to bound the movement of our spaceship. For this purpose, we're going to create a function called bound and this function is going to take one parameter, which is the X coordinate of the spaceship. And depending on where the spaceship is on the X axis, it will return a corresponding value. So in the first case, if the X value goes beyond the right hand side of the screen, we're going to let this function return the X value of the rightmost side of the game window. And by doing that, the spaceship will not be able to move anywhere beyond the right hand side of our screen. Now we do something very similar for the left hand side of our screen. We are going to say that if the x value is smaller than or equal to zero, then the uh, state.x position is equal to zero, which means the spaceship will not be able to move beyond the uh, left hand side of our screen. And finally, in the last case, if the x value is between the left and the right hand side of our game window, then we simply want to return the value x. Now we of course still need to add a call to this function, and the call to this function is made right here in the setPosition function, which is in the updatePlayer function. So now if we execute this game within our browser, you'll see that even though I'm pressing uh, the left key, it won't go beyond the boundaries of uh, the game window. And to just prove to you that I am pressing left key, you'll see that uh, if I press the left key right now, it will log that the left key is being pressed in the console, but it won't go beyond the boundary. And the same happens on the right hand side. I'm pressing the right key, but it's not going any further. So that means that we've successfully implemented the uh, boundaries uh, on our spaceship. The second thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to add the shooting to our spaceship. So we want our spaceship to be able to defend itself from the aliens and we want it to be able to shoot lasers. And that is exactly what we're going to implement now. Every time we press the space bar, we want the spaceship to shoot. So we're going to start off by creating a new constant called key underscore space, which is given the value of 32. Now, just to briefly remind you of why we choose 32 over here, that is because in JavaScript, each keyboard key is assigned a unique number. And in JavaScript, the space key is uh, just happens to be assigned to the value 32. In our state constant, we're going to create a new variable called shoot, and we'll set it to false because by default, the spaceship will not be shooting. And we're also going to create an empty list of lasers. Now, further below in the update player function, we're going to create a new case. Uh, more specifically, we're going to say that if the state of shoot is equal to true, then we want our spaceship to create a laser. So to create a bullet which flies across the screen. Now, this function, which we're going to create in just a few seconds, takes three arguments. First, it takes the container of where the bullet is going to show on our screen. Then it is also going to take the X and the Y position of where the bullet will appear. Now, under the comment player laser, we're going to create all the functions that relate to the laser of the spaceship which the player controls. The first function which we're going to create over here is the create laser function. And what this function does is quite simple. The first thing it does is that it creates the laser in our browser window. And the second thing it does is it adds the laser to the array which we created in the constant state. The second function which we're going to create over here is going to be called update laser. And this function is going to be responsible for moving the laser across our screen. The way this function works is pretty simple. All it does is that it goes through the array lasers in our constant state. And for every laser within the array, 
it subtracts from the y coordinate of the laser, making it move up our screen. Next, we need to update the function keypress by adding another else if statement to it, which sets the state variable shoot to true whenever the space bar is pressed. Now we need to make a similar change to the key release function we have right beneath. That is, we need to add another else if statement over here too, which sets the state variable shoot to false whenever the uh, space bar is released again. The very last thing we need to do is we need to go to our main update function and within this function we need to make a call to the update laser function. And once we do that we are actually finished. We can go to the index.html file and run it within our browser and you'll see that we have uh, the possibility of shooting bullets. But you'll notice one thing which is that the bullets are a bit misaligned because um, we still need to make a small change to our CSS file. More specifically, in the CSS file, we need to set the position of our bullet bullets to absolute, and we can also go ahead and change the margin to minus 2.5 pixel, the height to 25 pixel, and the Z index to minus one. The Z index, by the way, is where exactly on what layer the bullet is being created on. So if we set it to minus one, the bullet appears behind the spaceship, which is exactly what we want. So after making these changes, let's go and open the game in the browser again. And you can see that the spaceship shoots out bullets and is bound to the left and right hand side of our screen. All right, so that's it for this episode. In the upcoming episodes, we're going to talk about how we can add a cooldown to the bullets, how we can add our enemies and make them shoot and create a win screen and a lose screen. All right, so see you in the next video.